Hey y'all, this is uh, Chad Pullins, um, lead pastor at Crossroads. More importantly, just trying to be a, a follower of this, uh, this guy we know as Jesus. Um, just a couple of thoughts today for this video blog. Hopefully it will um, be helpful for you. Um, lots of times I get, um, I get questions, or, or maybe you think about maybe you get questions too, about as far as, well... How do we connect people with with Jesus? And maybe more importantly, who do we even try to connect with Jesus? And, you know, there's so much written about this. Great stuff. Way better than anything that I could come up with. And, and everything that, that I'll kind of share today is just stuff that, that I've heard from other people that's been really helpful. Um, I just try to really keep it really simple and so I just want to share a, a couple of things that I do that may be helpful for you. Um, when it comes to the who question, who should I try to connect with Jesus? Um, I, I just kind of look at what Jesus did with the disciples and who he told them to reach. As he sends out um, the 12 in the Gospel of Mark and in Luke, it's uh, the number is 72. He says to them basically, um, go from town to town. And the people who like you, those people who welcome you, those folks that serve you, those are the people that you need to connect with. I mean, if you come across someone who's not interested in what you're saying, not interested in you, doesn't like you, just keep moving. Shake the dust off of your feet. Um, some folks would maybe call this a, a, a person of peace strategy if... Some of you are familiar with, with 3DM and some of their strategy for discipleship, which, by the way, I think is just top-notch and um, w without a doubt. Anyways, this kind of strategy of, of what I'm thinking about when I'm wondering who is God wanting um, to use me to connect with, meaning who is God bringing into my life where he wants to use me so that he can connect with them, it's people who like me. It's people who want to be around me. It's people who are interested in what I'm doing. It's folks that serve me. And those are people that I think, it's not just by chance that people, those people like me, want to be around me, serve me, etc. Because if you know me, you know I'm not an easy guy to like. Definitely not an easy guy to serve. Definitely not an easy guy to listen to. And so I'm figuring if there are folks that are actually out there that feel that way about me, it's not because of me. It's probably because... God's bringing them into my life and is wanting to use that relationship so that he can connect with them. All right, so that's the who for me. Now, the how is this. How am I going to connect them with God? How am I going to first kind of connect with them and then connect with them with God? Well, I just look at it as fish and ponds. So where in my life are those places that people gather? And I'm going to fish those ponds, whether it's the Chamber of Commerce, whether it's where my kids are playing recreation sports, maybe it's my kid's school, uh, maybe it's the golf course that I play at, maybe it's the folks that I hunt with. Where are those people, where do, where do I go where people normally gather? And those are the ponds that, that I'm going to fish. And as I hang out in those places... I'm asking the Lord to show me who are the people that are welcoming me, who are the people that are serving me, who are the people that are kind of naturally drawn to me. And so as I hang out in those places that I'm drawn to those folks, then I'm thinking in my mind, okay, God, you're wanting to connect with them and maybe use me as that connection. So once I've kind of established these ponds and I've established kind of who these people are, then how do I connect them with God? Well, I'm just going to invite them to hang out with my life. I'm just going to be a friend. Um, make a friend. Be a friend. Lead a friend to Jesus. I'm just going to make a friend, and I'm going to be a friend. I'm going to hang out with them. And as they hang out with me, I'm going to trust God to do His thing. For God to use me in the relationship that I have with them to begin to connect with them. And just be available in that space. All right, so for me, the who comes down to, do they like me, want to serve me, they welcome me, are they kind of with me? The how is I'm going to fish ponds, and as I kind of identify those persons of peace in my life, 
I'm just going to kind of invite them into my life. I'm going to make a friend. I'm going to be a friend. And then I'm going to trust that through that friendship, I'm going to lead a friend to Christ. I'm going to connect them um, to a God that loves them so much that wants to transform their life. All right, hope that helps. Um, if it doesn't, if you know something better, then just use that. Let me in on it. I would love to hear about it. And my, my hope and prayer for you is that you have a great time fishing ponds and that God would use you to connect with people that he might connect with them. All right, peace.